Welcome back at 625. We're of course no strangers to thunderstorms here in the Peach State and we usually keep a lookout for any storms that may produce tornadoes. But did you know that thunderstorms can produce another dangerous impact that can be just as damaging as a tornado? Meteorologist Taylor Stephenson explains what a microburst is and how they form in this week's episode of WeatherWorks. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson here to explain to you how your weather works. Thunderstorms are a common occurrence in central Georgia, especially in the summertime. But have you ever heard of or seen a thunderstorm producing a microburst? Some people confuse microbursts with tornadoes, but they are very different. A microburst is a surge of sinking air or what we call a downdraft rushing from a thunderstorm. When the air hits the ground, it rapidly spreads over the area. Because of how fast the air is pouring from the storm, it can cause significant damage. Wind speeds can be upwards of 100 miles per hour. That's the same as an EF1 tornado. There are different types of microburst, wet, dry and hybrid. A wet microburst forms when there's a lot of precipitation within a thunderstorm. The rain becomes too heavy for the thunderstorm to hold and water rushes out with the downdraft. With dry microbursts, the thunderstorm itself can be dry or have very little rain. The downdraft would just be all wind. And as you probably guessed, Hybrid microbursts are a mixture of the two. For this reason and many more, during any thunderstorm, especially a severe thunderstorm, find your way indoors. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson, and that's how your weather works. Oh, very interesting. And if you have any questions on weather phenomena and why they work, make sure you email us at news at 13wmac.com. Your question may be the next weather works topic. We're back with more of your news and weather right after this.